Hello everyone and welcome to another Looker Studio tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to add conversion rate in Looker Studio. But before we go there, two things. Number one, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content, so thank you very much in advance. And number two, in order to add conversion rate in Looker Studio, we need to make sure that all the events that we want to do this for are marked as key events, which means we are going to go to our Google Analytics. We are going to click on admin. And once we are here on admin, we are going to click on events and you need to scan your events and you need to make sure that every action that is important for you is marked as a key event. So all you have to do is to check this button to click and toggle this on. So mark all the actions that matter for you as a key event. That will make it super easy to add the conversion rate in Looker Studio. So now that we've done this, we are going to navigate to Looker Studio and let's say that we want to add the conversion rate for this key event, check specs. So we are here in Looker Studio. We are going to insert, let's say, a scorecard to begin with. And what we're going to do is we're going to navigate on the right hand side. We're going to click under the metric, the blue box, and we are going to find now the conversion rate for this key event that is called check specs, right? So we are going to look for this specific key event. And here you can see it says session key event rate for check specs. We're going to click on it. And this is the session key event rate for check specs. Now you're going to say why it says zero here, because we need to format it as a percentage. We're going to click on this little icon here, the pen symbol. We're going to change this from number. Actually, it's going to remain number. We're going to change it to a percentage and off we go. This is it. Now, you may also say this name here, it makes sense maybe for me and you, but not for my boss, not for my stakeholders. Don't worry, you can click again on the pen symbol and you can rename this. For example, we can say uh, check specs CVR. What you can do also is you can add the conversion rate for all the events, all the key events on aggregate. Right. So how you can do this is you can, let's say, insert the scorecard here and we're going to click here on the right hand side under the metrics, the blue box. And we're going to look for, let's say, rate. And what you need to find here is the session key event rate. So session key event rate. And this is the conversion rate for all of your key events as a total, right? So that's how you can add the conversion rate in Looker Studio. Now, the same thing you can do in any type of chart. Let me give you some examples. So let's say we have a table, right? So we are going to insert a table, table, table. Here we go. So now that we have a table, let's say that I want to have my channels and session default channel group and i want to have let's say my sessions and i want to have my users and now i want to have the number of people for example that check specs that specific let's say event so we are going to look for the key event that, event that is called check specs and we're going to add also the conversion rate for this event and again all you have to do is you need to find the session key event rate for that specific event and also make sure that you click here and you convert this to a percentage so that it makes sense. Now, in a similar way, you can add the conversion rate for any type of key event in any table, any column chart, any combo chart, any visualization in Looker Studio. Let's say now that I want to calculate the conversion rate, but I want to calculate the conversion rate for an event that is not a key event. So 
it's very clear now that if something is a key event, we can simply click on add a metric. We can look for the key event rate for that specific key event, and we can actually pull it in. What if now I want to calculate the conversion rate for something that is not a key event? For example, I want to calculate the conversion rate for this, this event here, scroll underscore 25. And this is not marked as a key event. In this case now, what we're going to do is create the conversion rate with a formula. So we're going to click on insert. We are going to insert, let's say, a scorecard here. And we are going to click on the metrics on the right hand side. We're going to say add the calculated field. We're going to name this scroll25 CVR, for example. We're going to say that the data type is a percentage. And here we're going to create the formula. So we are going to say event count divided by sessions. Now you're going to say, wait a moment, event count. It means all the events. Don't rush. We're going to get there in a minute. So we want to create the conversion rate only for the event that is called scroll 25. Now we have to create a filter. So we are going to go on the right hand side under the setup column. We're going to say add a filter. We're going to create a filter. We're going to name this scroll 25, let's say new. And we're going to say we want to include only the event name that contains scroll 25. We're going to click on save. And here we go. So now you're going to say, okay, wait a moment. Why, for example, here this number is higher than 100%, 116%? Because that's based on sessions. It's not based on users. Right, so what we calculated here is the session conversion rate. In a single session, a user can scroll below the 25% of my page multiple times. Maybe they visited three pages, they scrolled a little bit, which means they triggered this event three times. That's why this number is above 100%. And that's it. That's how you can insert the conversion rate in Looker Studio. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and have a great day in any time zone.